So, Thomas, I heard this from a bird that you are a drone enthusiast. Um, and yeah. And that you, you've start, have you started using drones uh, for golf course maintenance and applying it there? Uh, yes, yes, we have. So what yeah. are, what, it, what are the, what are the kind of techniques that you've started to employ there? Like what I, I'm interested that it fascinates me because I'm kind of a tech nerd. So that that's something sure. that I'm always interested to hear about. Um, so the first one, the most easy, uh, easiest way to explain is just communication. Sometimes just a bird's eye view over an entire fairway or an entire green gives somebody the perspective of what's going on. You know, a lot of times um, I'm mobile staff. Our headquarters is in Ponte Vedra, Florida. I live in California. If I'm up in Lake Tahoe and I want to explain to players, uh, rules officials, uh, my boss, how the golf course looks, if I'm explaining to him, like me talking to him, uh, that's one way. But if I've done a, you know, 30 second flyover of the golf course, uh, like just an aerial, you know, CBS kind of shot. Yeah. My boss is going to know exactly how well that golf course is. And he's going to go, Oh, not a problem at all. You know, one of those types of things. So if I want to tell him, Hey, how the, the overseed looks really good or the overseed doesn't look really good. Well, you can see that with a flyover. Yeah. You know, I don't have to fly the whole golf course over, but I can give him a pretty good example of what's going on. So we'll do the communication on one part. Another way that I'm doing it is I'll physically map the golf course where the drone will fly in a grid pattern over the golf course. And I call it Google now. So it's making my own base map of, right. um, you go to think when, when, when tournament happens, there's a lot of infrastructure that goes up between rope lines, porta potties, concessions, uh, scoreboard locations for the rules officials. It might be uh, penalty areas, OB lines, where the stakes were. And so I'm able to take a snapshot of the entire golf course before the tournament starts. And I know exactly where everything is. You can imagine coming back to that golf course the next year, kind of going, where was that line that you did? And I've got it. Yeah. So uh, I'm able to measure how big the tees are, all those types of things like that. And then you go to the third level, which is probably more of the emerging side of things, which is actually turf grass health. We're now able to fly the golf course and uh, visually check how well grass is doing, how stressed it is. I would say it, it doesn't necessarily translate into what we can do on the golf course and the amount of time that we have during the tournament. We also have, you know, when can I fly that? I can't fly it during the tournament or after the tournament. Uh, there's not enough time to process the stuff before we need to make decisions. And plus, we're on the golf course so much. So I think it's coming, but it's not quite there yet. That's fascinating. Yep. On that end.